Hi and welcome to ICI's video on how to set up your new temperature screening system. Today we will start by unboxing and identifying each of the infrared temperature screening components. At the end of this video you will be able to properly install your new system for a successful temperature screening process. Now we are going to carefully unpack your new ICI screening system. Ensure that when you cut the tape you don't cut too deep and cut one of the cables. First we have the power cable. You will notice that one end has two connections, an ethernet connection and a connection to the power brick. The other end connects to the camera by a pin connector. Here we have the FM640 infrared temperature screening camera and this is a temperature reference device. The temperature reference device is an emitter of constant temperature that the camera uses for reference. At last we will find a computer video monitor combination. These are all the components that are included with your system. We are now going to set up the tripods and go over the general guidelines. Keep in mind that you will be able to find additional detailed instructions on the booklet included with your system. Now let's get started. We are going to begin with the leg extension with hinge or circular locks. Be sure to set up with leg locked and extension allowing stability to the unit. There are pan and tilt adjustments that you can make. Be sure to lock down the unit so that it won't move once it's been set up. Detach and attach the adapter to connect the base to the camera. Attach the adapter to the camera or temperature reference device before reattaching it to the tripod. Adjust height and lock in place. Ensure that all is level. Then follow the same steps to set up the other tripod. This is a basic computer and the steps to set it up are very simple. First, plug the computer power cord into the AC power adapter, then connect the computer AC power adapter into the computer. And last, plug the computer power cord into a surge protected 110-120 volt outlet. Since we have already set up the tripods, we are going to mount the temperature reference device to the dedicated tripod using the center quarter 20 mount on the bottom of the temperature reference device. Plug the temperature reference AC power cord into the temperature reference device and then into a surge protected 110-120 AC electrical outlet. During this section we are going to mount the camera using the quarter 20 mounts on the bottom of the camera. Plug both the power and the ethernet data combo cable into the appropriate cords on the back of the camera. Plug the free ends of these cables into the ethernet and USB ports on the computer. The camera may be powered by a 5 volt power cord connected to an electrical outlet. Now that we have set up all of our camera and temperature reference device, let's power them up. With the temperature reference source, flip the switch on the back to power on and then allow 45 minutes to acclimate to a constant temperature emission. The temperature is set at 35C to 37C. And now simply turn on your computer by pressing the power button. The placement of the camera should be perpendicular in both the horizontal and vertical axis to the individual being screened. Set the height of the camera from 5 feet 4 inches to 5 feet 8 inches. And this will allow imaging individuals from 4 feet 8 inches to 6 feet 4 inches. Measure the distance needed for the temperature screening system you have purchased. The individual's face and the temperature reference device should be in the frame of the screening image. The temperature reference source is placed so that it appears in focus with the frame of the thermal image. This may be placed slightly behind the individual, even with or slightly in front of the individual. The temperature reference source should be placed where it is always in a constant line of sight of the camera. If a person walks between the temperature reference source and the camera, an error code will appear until the camera resets its reference temperature. A mark on the floor should be visible at a focal distance from the camera. Depending on the unit, it will be between 5.5 feet and 10 feet. Traffic flow to and away from the screening point should be well marked. Remember, all equipment is all set up in conjunction with the homogeneous background. The system must be set up correctly to accurately screen individuals for an increase in body temperature, proper focal distance, height of the equipment, and the relationship between the camera, the temperature reference source, and the individual are essential for successful temperature screening. Thanks for watching us today and don't miss our next videos to learn more about our new ICI systems.